Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining for today's webinar. We're going to go ahead and get started with the webinar, but before I do, if you have not had the opportunity, please go to the handout section of the webinar to retrieve the resources we have there for you. You can either download them or you may print them, whichever you choose, but we do have um, some resources that could be helpful to you in the handout section of the webinar. So with that being said, today's webinar is titled 2022 Holiday Survival Guide. Save big during the holidays without looking like the Grinch. Now, this will be our first holiday season with the pandemic squarely in our rearview mirror. While we can never go back to the way things were, we are a lot closer than we've been in recent years. So that in itself is worth celebrating. Still, we should celebrate responsibly. So let's talk about saving money during the holidays without cutting back on our holiday cheer. Speaking of pandemics, holiday shopping was virtually unaffected by COVID-19. Spending has increased every year in this country despite recessions, health, health care or health scares rather, inflation, you name it. An another number that keeps going up every year is how many of us are stuck with holiday debt. Roughly a third of holiday shoppers can't pay off everything they bought during November and December. Only about one in five can even afford to pay off the holiday stuff that they put on their credit cards by the time January statements become due. Trust me. You don't want a steep credit card balance. Right now, the average interest rate on all credit cards is hovering around 20%. What that means is that for every $5 you spend on your credit cards, you're giving away $1 to the credit card companies, and that's not a good deal. You don't have to run up big credit card balances to have a wonderful holiday season. You don't need to scrimp on gifts either. If you start planning right now, you can save hundreds of dollars without wasting a lot of time. Let's review those right now. And we're going to start with a holiday spending plan. Let's face it. No one, I mean, no one likes creating a budget, especially for a pleasant task like showering everyone with gifts. But it's crucial if you want to do holiday shopping right. So if your holiday spending plan is basically, oh no, what now? Then you need to buckle down. It's not hard. In fact, it really is pretty simple. The first step is making a list and that's right, checking it twice. Exactly who do you need to buy gifts for? Really put some thought into this because you're making a promise to yourself that this is it. You're not buying anything more for anyone else. We're not yet talking what you're going to buy these folks, just that you want to, or in the case of a boss, you maybe need to. The next step is figuring out how much to spend. Even now, we're not talking about how much you'll spend on each person. We're, we're actually looking for a total. Over the years, studies have consistently shown something 
interesting in general. People who don't go deep into debt spend around one and a half percent of their gross annual income on holiday spending. We think even 1.5% of your gross annual income is too much to spend on one holiday season, but we also deal in reality here. So here's how to figure out this important number. Simply take your annual salary and multiply it by 1.5%. So if you earn $40,000 a year, that's a holiday budget of $600. Now, I know what you're thinking. If the national average for holiday spending is over $1,000 and you want me to spend less than that, how am I supposed to take care of everyone I care about without looking like well, a Scrooge. We're going to show you how right now. Everyone knows you can score great deals online rather than in the store, but not everyone knows about these comparison shopping tech tools. These websites and apps let you make a list of desired items, then tell you when the best deal is being offered. Most of the ones you see here are pegged to Amazon, but Baywatch monitors deals on eBay, while the Mac Index does the same for the sale of Apple products. You can find these price monitoring programs everywhere and you don't need to be tech savvy to take advantage of them. Try one or more and see if you save big. Let's talk for a moment about gifts you make yourself. Now these often get a bad rap because some people think it's just a cheap way um, of getting out of buying expensive gifts and guess what? They're right. But these gifts can be amazing because they're personal. So if you can knit a sweater or build a jewelry box, those will be treasured items. Don't forget that your gift is one of many. So it's not like your friends or family aren't going to get lots of store-bought presents anyway. So why not make yours even more special? What we're talking about here won't work for tech conscious kids and young adults. But if you know older loved ones who say need a new smartphone or tablet, laptop, or even TV set, don't buy the latest leading edge model. In fact, older Americans might appreciate a previous generation of electronics that's already been proven reliable and really is just as good as the newer versions. Meanwhile, you save hundreds of dollars. If you can't make a gift, you can probably assemble one. It's usually much cheaper and a lot more fun to make your own gift baskets for friends and family you know well. Why? Because you know what they like, whether it's their favorite brand of chocolate or their preferred coffee. Gift baskets don't have to be about just food. You can assemble one for hair and skin care, um, incense and candles, and kitchen utensils. We've even seen one just for socks because the gift giver knew that their friend loved to wear crazy socks to work. Now, this one is especially good for the kids. Have them give out personal coupons for, say, cleaning the yard, shoveling snow, washing the car, and other chores that often require a lot of nagging. Instead of them begging you for cash to buy you gifts, you'll save your money and teach them the value of not only a dollar, 
but also of work. Likewise, you can sprinkle in such coupons for your kids, promising them a free trip for ice cream or one free pass on making up their bed. Whatever will brighten their eyes doesn't have to lighten your wallet. Gift giving isn't the only big expense during the holidays. There are holiday parties, holiday decorations, holiday meals, and holiday travel. You can spend just as much on these categories or even more. So let's review four simple ways to save. We spoke earlier about getting the kids involved on the gift side. Now let's talk about them helping on the spending side. Any parent knows that kids are very interested in buying things, but they're not so interested in saving money. The holidays are the one time of year your children might be motivated to think about budgeting. Kids love holiday parties and trips, so show them the budget and ask for their input. How would you spend this limited amount of money on a party or on travel? Not only can you save a few bucks, you'll be teaching your children lessons that are literally invaluable. Again, the holidays aren't just about gifts. They're about family gatherings and big parties. These can get quite pricey just on their own. Instead of spending money on expensive meals or trips, try saving money by doing activities that can bring you closer together as a family. Here are just a few that involve doing things together. Among our favorites are touring the neighborhood lights at night and baking holiday treats together. But all of them on this list cost little to nothing, but the memories will be priceless. Okay, we just talked about how to save on family gatherings, but what about friends and coworkers? If you're hosting a holiday party why spend big bucks on food and decorations for a dozen or more people? A potluck is an inexpensive solution that really doesn't feel cheap. For starters, promote it as a way to learn more about the people you work with or hang out with. Their food choices can be fascinating, especially if they bring ethnic dishes. Along those lines, a potluck makes it easier for vegans, vegetarians, and pescatarians to have something to eat because they'll bring something that fits their own dietary restrictions. Same with those who keep kosher and halal. Finally, if you have friends and coworkers who can't cook, they can bring the holiday decorations and the drinks. We've talked a lot today about embracing technology, but anyone who's tried booking a flight online for a holiday trip knows how overwhelming it can be. There are so many options and they all cost something different on different airlines. Your best bet is to use fair monitoring programs like Hopper, Skyscanner, Airfare Watchdog, and any of their competitors. They all do the same thing. They let you enter in where you want to go and when you want to go there. Then they keep checking for the lowest price options. We all know airlines keep tweaking, you know, their fares on an almost daily basis. These programs keep you up on those price fluctuations. You can also go low tech and call a human being. Travel agents still exist and they can save you money on big parties traveling at peak times, which is the very definition 
of holiday travel. Now let's discuss a dangerous but lucrative tactic. We all know credit cards offer rewards points. And we all know that holiday shopping time is when you can really rack up those points. But here's the problem. We often chase the points without thinking about the consequences. After all, what good are 2,000 points worth $100 if you carry a $1,000 balance at 20%? If you can pay your credit card bills in full, then points become profit. But that sounds easy, right? Well, if you already have steep balances and the holidays will just make them worse, then you need professional help, free professional help. One of the best kept secrets in this country is the existence of nonprofit credit counseling agencies. These agencies hire certified credit counselors who can over the phone review all your finances and make concrete suggestions for getting out of debt and saving more money. That advice will come in real handy for the holidays. If you need help finding a certified credit counselor, we can help you with that. You see on your screen our contact information. It might seem a little odd to conclude our lessons about saving money during the holidays with advice for giving it away. But believe it or not, donating to charity can make you richer. And we're not just talking about in spirit. For starters, I'm sure you've heard about making tax deductible donations. Like everything with taxes, it's not as simple as it sounds. But yes, if you donate to charities, they are properly designated by the RRS. You can save on your annual tax bill. But how do you choose a qualified charity and how can you avoid getting ripped off? The best place to start, charity. Navigator. Charity Navigator rates charities by their financial health, their accountability, and their transparency. Practically speaking, that means these charities really help people and they do it by not spending a lot on overhead. Charity Navigator is free to use, and I encourage you to not only look up charities you already know, but also use the search function to discover reputable charities you might not have heard of ever before. We urge you to never reply to email or phone solicitations for holiday giving until you check out a site like Charity Navigator. Sadly, holiday season is also the season for scammers as well. So that's our quick holiday rundown for this upcoming holiday season. Thank you very much for attending today's webinar. And as always, Consolidated Credit may be able to help you save money and get out of debt faster than you can on your own. Our licensed and trained credit counselors will provide you with a free budget analysis. We work with your creditors to lower your interest rates and eliminate fees. We consolidate your credit card debt into one low, one low monthly payment. If you're interested, please give us a call at 
1081, or you can contact us via FinEd at consolidatedcredit.org. Our credit counselors look forward to speaking with you. And we also invite you to visit our website at www.consolidatedcredit.org. Thank you again for attending today's webinar and may the rest of your day be the best of your day. Thank you so much for attending. Until next month, take care now.